update that we have is that the air flight, the specific airplane, the C208, the aircraft that was operating or that was operated by FlySax, has been found. It left Kitale at around 4 p.m. and lost contact with Nairobi at 5:20 p.m. I have the peers of transport with us this morning, joining us by way of phone call. Mashima, it's good to be speaking to you. Um, what more updates can you give us with the, with this aircraft that now has currently been found? Well, at the moment, the updates are uh, quite brief. The airport has been spotted on the southwest of the Abadez Ridge. And um, a, we continue the ground search for survivors. We are trusting that some, uh, over the next one hour we should have a very comprehensive information. Now, Mishinua, this specific aircraft that fell has really, really brought into light um, our negative aspect when it comes to um, our search and rescue missions here in Kenya. Here's the thing. Abadez is quite foggy. Should have, perhaps we used different methods of rescue, such as heat thermal, to find the plane? Um, was there a box, the black box, rather? Um, w those are certain things that within um, distress as a country, the disaster man management unit should have done from the get-go. Mm. Well, um, a rescue was mounted immediately. The information came in. Um, uh, nat naturally, the Abadez is a very extensive uh, set of mountains, and um, a, we concentrated very much on um, a air surveillance. But at the same time, we mounted um, a, a specialized troop of um, a mountain rescue um, a personnel who were first to um, Obviously, there is always room for improvement, but I, I think we did uh, give it a very best. Um, and just to, um, to clarify a few things, a lot of reports are, have indicated that this specific aircraft had problems before it even took off prior. Will we be able, especially for families and friends that were affected by those that were lost, will we be able to see a report of investigations hopefully very soon? Yeah, we have uh, in, the, in the State Department of Transport, we have a department that we call Air Investigation Department. And they are part of the rescue um, operations. And fact, I've just received a report today that they are on the ground and carrying out the investigations. And that is exactly their purpose. They investigate the causes of the accidents. And um, uh, yes, the report should come out in due course. All right. Any set deadline for Kenyans? Any set period? Any date? I, I believe uh, my, my, my current interest right now is um, the relatives and um, uh, those that we are trying to, to rescue, uh, that is where our focus really should be. Um, it's important that we avoid um, a lot of speculation on, on this one at the moment. But it, as I said earlier on, in an hour, we should have a much more specific information. Uh, now, Ms. Shimiwa, before I let you go very quickly, it's about a few minutes to 8 a.m. I know the weather is quite foggy this morning. It's even raining here in Nairobi. With the rescue operations still ongoing, have they already begun on the ground or will they start any time soon from now? I, I did have a press briefing last night where I said ground rescue operations don't stop because of fog or the evening because this has actually been carried out by people um, uh, on foot. So um, uh, that will go on whether it's foggy or not. It's not be a problem. And obviously, now that we have a sighting, we, we want to accelerate it and see if we can conclude this matter in the next one hour. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to speak to you then in the next one hour with more updates. Um, very quickly, could you give us the quick look, the exact location, the precise location of where the aircraft was found? I'm waiting for a specific GPS location, but um, at, the t at the moment, all I can confirm is that it was spotted southwest of the Abadea region. West of the Abadeas. South. 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 Yes. All right. Thank you, Chinua. Thank you so much for your time.